Previously on So Bad It's Good. Long ride from Australia? Uh, yeah, but I flew most of the way. Your arm's tired? I only want to flap him. Okay, <laughs> that could give you armoritis. Uh, it's all right, I just had a bout of hepatitis. Yeah, a little bit further down your leg and probably get pneumonia. Hell, I'd be more worried about small cocks. Well, I'm pretty lucky there. I've already had diphtheria. <laughs> all of a sudden, the stars at night a big and bright Deep in the heart of Texas What? This is so bad, it's almost unbearable. It's as bad as it gets. So we decided we need to watch something crazy. Yes. Because this was so boring. And we were at Scares the Care together a couple months ago, and we ran into the Vinegar Syndrome guys <laughs> yeah. who had a, just a ton of Blu-rays there. We asked them, what's so bad it's good? And they're the experts got? on this stuff. These guys put out everything. If you don't know what Vinegar Syndrome is, our Disco Godfather review is Vinegar Syndrome. <laughs> And he pointed out... Shocking dark. Shocking dark. Yeah, it's not sharking. Sharking? Sharking dark. Sharding dark? <laughs> that would be terrifying. <laughs> It's definitely oh. not shocking. No. And it's definitely not dark. I'll tell you why. It's well lit. We've seen this movie before. Wikipedia said the reason this was never released in the States... Copyright infringer. Copyright. <laughs> Imagine if somebody reshot Aliens. But if you reshot it with no money. Mm -hmm. No talent. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got 15 minutes to get ready to begin Operation Delta Venice. This guy has Please. awkward pauses. He can't act worth shit. And you took out all the action scenes and just left the stuff where they slowly walk down hallways. Yeah. But you just lit the hell out of it and put it in some kind of power plant. Yep. That's it. There are literally scenes, like word for word, yeah, shot dialogue. for shot, yep. the same as Aliens. And mm -hmm. it's obvious. On the back that you Ripley, say, Newt, yep, Vasquez. Same. Apone, I mean, it's all in here. It's almost a parody. It's like, how do you take an idea that you know is good, that you know works, and just mess it up? Yeah. There were a few highlights, though. There were. There were, there were like... What? Okay, well, um, I wrote them down. What? <laughs> there was one joke about the KY jelly. My boyfriend should be right behind you. Yeah, let's get out the KY so we can shaft them real good. Jesus. Uh, got a little too European. Out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. And got real weird. It got real uncomfortable, real weird for yeah. like 10 seconds. And then they introduced the little girl. And we're like, we were worried about her safety. We're friends. Here's a condom. <laughs> Jesus. Again. It was like, it was gross. Aliens, she's 12. Yeah. 11. She's young. Mm -hmm. She's a, a little girl who has survived against all odds. In this, she's like 16. Sarah! 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 15? Too old. Too old to be around these rough and tumble it just made it awkward yeah. and not scary. Yeah. It was weird. There was the guy who screamed really loud. We never saw what happened with him. He had oh yeah, the guy at the beginning. Lungs or something. Is 
Is he an alien? Robot? Drug addict? Frenchman? And that was never explained. The rest of the never movie came back explained. either, right? Did we see him again? No. I assumed he just mutated fully into one of the monsters, but no. One of the monsters we never saw? Yeah. And there was a stunt that went wrong that was kind of funny to watch. You thought you saw a dummy plunging three stories <laughs> down. <laughs> and you saw his head pop off, but they left it in. You know, the character when he hit was fully intact. I would love... To, we can't rewind this because of the way we're recording it. So right. we can't see if something happened. <laughs> like, I swear I saw his that? head pop off. That was cool. Well, we never went over the plot. It's aliens. The seaweed is killing the oxygen in the waters, and the putrid waters are corroding the foundations of the city. Kill the oxygen in the water, it's not water, right? Uh. And everyone's seen pictures of Venice. Hey, Pollock! Take a look at this. I want to show you something. Look. What's this supposed to be? Venice. Where did you pull that out of? <laughs> did I ever show you the arm wrestling dude? Uh, Devin Larratt. It's like one of the pull pictures of his boobs. Where, where are we well, going with it? The aliens, when they go into the the oxygen processing plant, Yep. it looks like that. They definitely copied that throughout the whole movie. So there's no reason for it to be in, in Venice. And they're going in there to stop some scientist who was doing some experiments to either, I don't want to prevent this catastrophe or... I mean, I'm explaining it to you. And then... Uh, it all blew up and it ended the world. Literally, the world ended in this movie right before our heroes got into accidentally found a time machine and traveled back before Venice was polluted. But the Terminator followed them back and then they had to toss a um, laptop computer at the robot and then it either electrocuted itself or got sent through time. Unclear. It was so boring, dude. It was better than the Halloween 7. This is the worst movie we've seen. There was a countdown, and then nothing happened at the end of the countdown. The time remaining to interrupt the self-destruction command is 30 seconds. Colonel Parsons! 29. Ben, Colonel Parsons, do you read me? 27. 26. Please. 3, 2, 1. The time is up. <laughs> the time is up and nothing happened yeah. and then they got another minute timer 28 27 we're gonna die we're gonna die wow you have 10 seconds to fasten your seat belts 12 11 10 so is this so bad as good fuck this movie i don't know how we followed up the worst movie we've ever seen with probably the second worst movie we've ever seen. Disco Godfather smashes this. Oh, yeah. And Disco Godfather was awful. Oh, yeah. I, nothing happens in this freaking movie. All right. Oh. It's not good. It, it's not good. This is the worst day of my life. Are we out of movies? No, you, those guys sold you two more. Ah, they were expensive, too. <laughs> you paid like $50 for this. <laughs> I have no idea how to end this, except don't watch these. All right. Don't do it. Is that wife number two? Uh, no, she shouldn't be here. You know, you know about my second wife? What's talking about mine? Yours is here, too? Oh, shit. We gotta go. We gotta go. The time is up. <laughs> The time is up. Oh 